Microsoft Dynamics X 2012 supports the direct delivery to customers. With direct delivery, sales orders are delivered directly from the vendor to the customer without physically entering your company's inventory. Let us review the simulations of direct delivery. Company receives the order from customer to deliver bicycles next week. Once order is taken, sales manager of the company looks at the available inventory and he found that there is not enough inventory to deliver to customer next week. Company places a purchase order to purchase the required number of bicycles from a vendor. Now, since vendor and customer are in the same town, company asks vendor to deliver the goods to customer directly, thus minimizing the delivery time and saving the unnecessary freight cost. Vendor delivers the goods to customer directly and informs the company about the delivery. When we create a direct delivery purchase order, certain information like sales line quantity, delivery address, requested ship date will get copied to purchase order. In addition, if we change the sales order line quantity, delivery address or requested receipt date, purchase order line quantity, address and delivery date will also get changed automatically. So for example, if we change the sales line quantity, either increase or decrease, accordingly purchase line quantity also will get increase and decrease. We will review the product demonstration for the same. Similarly, if we product receipt update the purchase order, whether it's a fully or partially, it will packing slip update the sales order accordingly. Also, if we change the delivery date on the purchase order, it will change the requested receipt date on the sales order line. However, user can confirm and invoice update the sales order and purchase order individually. Let us review the product demonstration about how to create a direct delivery purchase order and how information gets synchronized between the sales order and purchase order. We will start reviewing the important setup related to direct delivery on the release product form. Currently we, are, we have located the road bicycle. On CU9 R3, we have a new fast step called deliver under which we can set the direct delivery. If product is set to be delivered directly, whenever we create a sales order, by default it will be of sales order of type direct delivery. Here we can specify the warehouse. If we want to use any special warehouse for direct delivery, then this can be specified here. However, whenever you check this checkbox, the vendor has to be specified under the purchase first step here. If this vendor is not specified, we cannot check the direct delivery. So specify the default vendor here against which we want to create a direct delivery purchase order. Uh, so this is the important setups to review and this is only introduced in the R3 CU9. Now as a next step, we will create a sales order for this bicycle. So we go to account receivable, sales order, create a new sales order. Here we can select the any customer, let's say 111101 and then click on OK. And then as a next step we will create a, we will add a road bicycle as a sales line. And since this product has been set up by default to be delivered as using the direct delivery mode, under the lines details tab, fast tab, under the delivery we can see that the direct delivery checkbox has already been checked. Then this is a, as a next step, what we can do is uh, we can create a direct delivery purchase order from here. So we have a one piece of bicycles uh, to be delivered to customers. So we will create a direct delivery using this. So in this form, where we can select which sales lines to include for direct delivery. For now, we have only one sales line which has been included by default. And here, the vendor which is coming from the product master as a default, which can be changed by user here. Uh, but for now, we don't change it, we leave it as it is. And click on OK. That would create the purchase order directly. So the purchase order has been created. Double click on this. Now, notice that. Uh, so basically what we are telling is that we want to deliver the bicycle to customer 1101 and we are asking our vendor that is 1001 to deliver this bicycle to our customer. So the delivery address from the sales order should get copied here. 
so that's the address this one road number 92 USA and the same address should get copied on the purchase order as well under the line details under the address tab as you can see here the address from the sales order have been copied uh, generally the address of our company will be there on the purchase order because that's the place where we expect the delivery but this is being the direct delivery address of the customer have been copied and we will change we will see how the information is synchronized so for example if we change the request received date to 7th of august and if we save the line the delivery date on the purchase order will get updated if we refresh this then as we can see the delivery date on the purchase order also have been updated to 7th so if we increase the quantity of sales line by 2 then uh, quantity on the purchase order line will also get increased uh, correspondingly so if we refresh the purchase order here we can see the quantity have been set to 2 similarly now we will also change the address so change the address we will use the different address than the one which has been currently copied so we use this address and uh, save the sales line and uh, if we go to now purchase order under the address tab if we refresh as we can see the address is changed so the inform certain informations on the sales order always remains in sync with the direct delivery purchase order be it a quantity delivery date or uh, address and if we delete the sales line it will also delete the purchase order line correspondingly now let's look at the purchase order so we have a purchase order created uh, which we can confirm and uh, once we confirm the purchase order we will partially packing slip update the purchase order so the purchase order have been uh, confirmed and uh, as a next step we product receipt update the purchase order in fact uh, this is the stage where our vendor has informed to us that uh, they have delivered it to the our customer directly so in fact we are not receiving any inventory on our warehouse physically but uh, uh, we are acknowledging the receipt to customer by product receipt updating the purchase order that will eventually in turn also update the sales order packing slip so automatically so we will see so we are just uh, going to product receipt update for the one piece of bicycle and we can uh, we will also see if we have product receipt update the purchase order for one piece it will subsequently also update the packing slip for one piece on sales order so the purchase order have been product receipt updated and if we look at the sales order transactions here we will see one piece as deducted and uh, one piece is uh, reserved order so this is the this is because we have just updated the product receipt for the purchase order and here under the pick and pack action menu we can also set that packing slip have document have been generated automatically for the sales order so uh, whenever we product receipt update the purchase order it will subsequently also packing slip update the sales order but uh, once packing slip up updation is done uh, sales order can be invoice updated as usually invoice updating the purchase order will not invoice update the sales order that's a different operation and uh, we will create another sales order line for uh, one piece of bicycle on r3 uh, microsoft has also introduced the direct delivery workbench utility uh, using which also we can process the direct delivery and we will review that uh, function now uh, first we create a direct delivery order using the direct delivery function from the sales header menu itself now we will use the direct delivery workbench so that can be located under the procurement and sourcing under the journals and direct delivery this form will give us an overview of all the sales order and sales order lines which are to be delivered directly 
So here we see the self sorted line which we just created for the one piece of bicycle. So here we have a three types direct delivery, confirmation and delivery. Direct delivery lists out all the self sorted and lines which are to be delivered directly. Then uh, using this create direct delivery button we can create a purchase order and for that uh, to use this function the vendor has to be set up uh, the default vendor on the release product form. Let's create direct delivery order and it will intimate the purchase order have been created. The purchase order can be reviewed under the confirmation tab. This is the purchase order which has just been created by the system. We can confirm the purchase order from here. Once it is confirmed, it will go under the delivery tab. And here we have two open purchase order. One is partially delivered. The first one is for the two pieces and out of that one piece has already been delivered. And the second one is the one which we just created. And uh, this can be, here we have two options, whether to partial product receipt the purchase order or full product receipt the purchase order. So we will use full product receipt for this second purchase order and uh, which has been packing slip updated we can also see on the sales order line that this pack uh, for this sales line the packing slip document must have been generated so here as you can see the packing slip document have been generated for this so this is the another way of uh, processing the direct delivery using the direct delivery workbench utility uh, this has been introduced on r3 and it's very easy to use so in this session we reviewed what the concept of direct delivery uh, where we do not receive the product and instead we ask our vendor to deliver it to the customer. We can create the direct delivery purchase order by using the option direct delivery or alternatively using the direct delivery workbench utility. Uh, since this road bicycle was set, uh, set as a direct delivery this sales line was set as a direct delivery by default but for a particular product if you want to do direct delivery occasionally then you can set the direct delivery checkbox under the line still fast step on the sales line and that line will be handled using the direct delivery so this can be set manually on the sales line for a particular product so thank you thank you for watching this video